Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to continue looking at module three and considering how has life in America changed over time. I hope you remember last week when we read this story when I was young in the mountains by Cynthia Ryland. You were able to look at her life growing up and compare it to your life today. There was a lot of things that were different. Her life was lived in a very different way than yours. Well, today we are going to look at what home was like in the past and compare it to your life today. If you take a look at this screen, you'll see a bunch of different books across the top. Communication then and now, school then and now, home then and now, and transportation then and now. Today we are going to be reading the story Home Then and Now. I thought that was a great story to look at because with school closed, you are spending a lot of time at home. So you'll be able to look around and think about your life now and think about how it is different than life back then. Here's a picture of the cover. I want you to take a moment and look at that picture. What do you notice and what do you wonder? I noticed something. The stove looks very different than the stove I have in my kitchen right now. If you're near your kitchen, I want you to take a look at your stove. Does your stove look like that? Probably not. I also noticed that the picture is in black and white. Our pictures today are taken in color, so this tells me this book took place long ago, during the then time. I do have a wonder when I look at this cover. I wonder, what are all those different dishes? In the back there, it looks to be one, two, three different teapots. I also wonder, what is that thing coming out of the stove going up to the ceiling of the house. All right, as I read this story to you today, I want you to think about what you notice and maybe this story makes you wonder some things. Home Then and Now by Robin Nelson. Our homes give us shelter and keep us safe. Homes have changed over time. Long ago, families used oil lamps for light. Now we use electricity to light our homes. Long ago, families kept food cold in ice boxes. Now we use refrigerators. Long ago, kitchens had wood burning stoves. Now kitchens have electric or gas stoves. Long ago, homes had outhouses. Now homes have bathrooms with indoor toilets. Long ago, families took baths in tin tubs. Now families take baths in bathtubs. Long ago, families washed clothes with washboards. Now families use washing machines to clean clothes. Long ago, children did chores after school. Now, we still have many jobs to do. I hope you enjoyed that look at home long ago, comparing it to home today. So, I created a little notice and wonder tea chart. I'm going to put some items on it that I noticed and wondered from this nonfiction or informational text. Maybe you noticed and wondered some of the same things. Something I noticed was that Families kept food in ice boxes. That was kind of strange to me. Families took baths in tin tubs. That did not look very comfortable to me when I saw that in the picture. Something else I noticed was that people had to the bathroom 
was outside. That really stood out to me as something that I noticed. They called it an outhouse. Now, we always wonder about a text the first time we read it, and it brings up some questions for us. So I'm going to put a couple of wonders, I'm sorry, over here. So when we ask questions about a text, we think about what we want to know. I know one. Did they have electricity? That's something that I wonder because I think about how much electricity we use in our lives today. And maybe they heated the icebox with electricity, or I'm sorry, cooled the icebox. I'm not sure. Here's another question I have. What did they do for fun? So much today of our lives. For fun, we play video games, we watch television, we used um, screens and technology. So what did people do for fun back then? That's, some, that's a wonder that came up for me as I was reading. So from this nonfiction text, from what we notice, that can kind of get us thinking about what this text is really about. What's the main topic? I'm going to ask you to think back to last week. We chose, we identified, we picked out the main topic from Cynthia Ryland's story when I was young in the mountains. So I'm going to ask you to think about what did that main topic mean? When you're reading an informational or a nonfiction text, the main topic is what the book is mostly about. And we get that information from the words and the pictures what the words and pictures are telling us about. If we think about what the book is mostly about and what the words and pictures are telling us about, I made this chart and I want to fill in what the main idea is. I'm going to ask you to think for a moment. What is this book mostly about? I came up with an idea. The main idea or the main topic of this book, life at home was different in the past than it is now. Think about what that story told us about. It told us all about how things were at home compared to how things are today. So our main topic, life at home, was different in the past than it is now. That is what our story was about. If you see the second part of this chart is the key detail. Think about from the text, we can use words or pictures to find our key details. Somewhere else I think I could look. I could look back at my notice and wonder chart. I put some details that I noticed right there. Food and ice boxes, baths and tin tubs, that outhouse that was outside. So. I want to say life at home was different than it is now. Families kept food in the icebox. Now we use, oh, you know what we use, refrigerators. Families took baths in tin tubs. Now we use bathtubs. Families I saw this on the cover. Families cooked using wood burning stoves. Now we use gas or electric stove. I bet if you ask your grown up what kind of stove you use, I bet they will say gas or electric. It's probably not going to be a wood burning stove. Families used a bathroom outside. Now we use bathrooms inside. So look what I did there. I put some details that I got from the words and the pictures. And these key details support my main topic. Life at home was different in the past than it is now. I put a bunch of details about life at home from the past and compared it to how it is now. All right. I want to see what you found was the most important key details. I'm going to ask you to choose 
2. Now, I don't think we're going to do any writing today. I'm going to put our essential question back up top. How has life in America changed over time? So we are going to come up with a sentence starter. Oh, long ago, families kept food in ice boxes. Now they use refrigerators. So if I was saying on Seesaw, I would turn on my video and I would say, long ago, families kept food in ice boxes. Now they use refrigerators. I'm going to come up with a second key detail. Long ago, families took baths in tin tubs. Now they use bathtubs. I took two of my key details and I put them into sentences. So on my Seesaw video, I would turn on my camera, my video camera, and say, long ago, families kept food in ice boxes. Now they use refrigerators. Long ago, families took baths in tin tubs. Now they use bathtubs. Then I will hit submit. That way I showed my teacher that I can answer that question, how his life in America changed over time. I'm going to go back to the screen, so if you want to pause it here to choose what two details you would like to use to compare life then and now. I can't wait to see what you choose. 